From the quiet force behind a falling leaf to the devastating blast of a nuclear explosion, energy is everywhere, powering life, motion, and even destruction. What if you could control it all? Welcome back to Ability Encyclopedia, the ultimate hub for breaking down the world's wildest powers. And today, we're diving into one of the most versatile forces in the universe, physical energy manipulation. So, what exactly is physical energy manipulation? At its core, it's the power to create, shape, and control physical forms of energy, meaning energy that actually exists in the natural world. We're talking kinetic energy, like motion and momentum, thermal energy, anything heat-based, electricity, radiation, chemical reactions, even nuclear fusion. If science can measure it, this ability can probably manipulate it. It's like wielding the raw building blocks of the universe, but without crossing into magic, psychic, or spiritual territory. No spells, no chakras, just pure physical force. Now here's where it gets wild, because physical energy manipulation isn't just one power. It's a whole arsenal of sub-abilities rolled into one. First up, kinetic energy manipulation, the power to control pure motion, push, pull, stop objects mid-air, or turn a punch into a rocket blast. Then there's thermal manipulation, heating things up or freezing them down to absolute zero. It's not just fire or ice, it's heat itself as a weapon or shield. With nuclear manipulation, we're talking splitting atoms, fusion reactions, and radiation waves. High risk, high reward, straight up atomic level chaos. Electricity manipulation, a classic. Shock enemies, power machinery, or become your own living battery. Now, let's level up. Control photons for light, protons and neutrons for raw matter interactions. You're literally bending the rules of particle physics. And then, dark energy manipulation. Yeah, that mysterious force that makes up nearly all of space? If a user can tap into that, they're basically playing on a cosmic scale. All of this is why physical energy manipulation is the ultimate jack-of-all-trades when it comes to energy powers. It's science turned superhuman. So, what can a physical energy manipulator actually do? The better question might be, what can't they do? Want to throw fire blasts like a walking furnace? Yup, that's thermal energy. Bending gravitational fields like you're rewriting physics? That falls under mechanical and potential energy, creating pyrokinetic-style attacks that explode on impact? Yeah, that's just heat, plus motion combo. Or how about some quantum-level chaos, like warping space, splitting particles, or manipulating light beams like a laser surgeon with a god complex? The thing is, if the energy exists in the real world, no matter how small, fast, or unstable, this power can detect it, harness it, and bend it to your will. It's not just about destruction, it's about domination of the laws of motion, heat, force, light, and matter. And honestly, that's terrifyingly impressive. Now don't get it twisted. Physical energy manipulation is powerful, but it doesn't touch the mystical side of things. No control over life force, psychic energy, magic, or spiritual essence. So if you're trying to cast spells, summon ancestors, or bend emotions, this ain't the power for you. This ability stays strictly in the realm of science, physics, and natural law, not sorcery, vibes, or divine intervention. Now let's talk about some heavy hitters who've shown off physical energy manipulation, whether directly or in pieces. First up, Captain Adam from DC Comics. This man is practically a walking nuclear reactor. He absorbs, generates, and releases energy on a subatomic level. Kinetic, thermal, nuclear. He does all of it. Got it! Duh. Then there's Cole McGrath and Delson Rowe from the infamous games. Cole starts with electricity, but by the end, he's manipulating ionic and kinetic forces like a lightning-based god. Delson, he takes it even further, copying powers and mixing multiple forms of energy in combat.
And while it's debatable, characters like Dr. Manhattan and even Storm from X-Men tap into this domain too. Dr. Manhattan works on a quantum scale, manipulating particles, energy, and even time. Storm's weather powers? Technically rooted in atmospheric energy. That's thermal, electrical, and pressure systems all in one. My fury. I ain't afraid of you, you witch. Then you are a fool. So yeah, physical energy manipulators? They're not just flashy. They're foundational in the superpowered hierarchy. So where does physical energy manipulation rank on the power scale? Let's just say it's got range. At the low end, you've got basic energy projection, blasts, shocks, heat waves. Mid-tier, you're talking control over multiple forces, kinetic barriers, gravitational tweaks, plasma shields. But at full mastery, that's god-tier territory. You're manipulating subatomic particles, warping physics, maybe even touching dark energy in space-time itself. And the versatility? Off the charts. Offense, check. Defense, absolutely. Environmental manipulation, easy. Cosmic level applications, if the user's smart enough, definitely. This isn't just a power, it's a scientific sandbox with infinite potential. So, would you want the power to bend the physical laws of energy itself? Or would you rather specialize, like fire, lightning, or plasma? Sound off in the comments and tell us your favorite energy-based character. I want to hear those hot takes. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you never miss another deep dive from Ability Encyclopedia. More powers, more breakdowns, more energy? You already know what it is. I'll see you in the next one.